Hmm. So we're doing oh, money. Oh 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 oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I guess we're talking about money. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Try the Goulash. My name is Blake. My name is Alex. And it's Will. And we're here today with episode six. 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 Hope everyone's having a good day. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, today, we're, we we normally prepare our topics, uh, but today we came up with it literally right before we push record. I like it's a holiday. We, it's a holiday where we're, we're at. Just, we're celebrating life and... We're talking about money. Yes. The topic is money, it's currency, it's economy. Moolah that guap. Yep. Uh, everyone's got to deal with it in some form or fashion, and we're just going to break it down for you guys today. Controls us, guys. Money yeah. controls us. It controls lives. us. It does. Yeah, it does. More than a lot of things. More than a lot of other aspects of our lives. It controls me controls more us. than I would like it to. Like, like, we're almost slaves to a paycheck. At least the lifestyle that we are chasing, the three of us. Yeah, a lot of people live different lives. The three of us definitely do the clock in at the job, get the paycheck, pay the bills kind of life. Yes. We're all currently well, I, renting. I have to. Yeah. yeah have well, to. and it's different for you guys cuz you guys have debt. Yeah. Student so loans. like you literally are student loans responsible yeah. for making that money cuz you have to pay people back. It's, yeah. It's funny it because sucks. and a lot it, of people our age do. Yeah. Out of all of the things that money does, debt is the sh- thing it does. It is. It is. Debt sucks. And it's crazy that our society allows people like young kids like all three of us and they let, just let them go to college and get I mean, it's not about hundreds. letting them. It's just like that's what people do. It's the norm. Let me like, break this just down. Go to school. If you're listening it's, outside it's of the funny. United States, the United States kind of has a weird thing going on right now where all the youth, it's becoming the norm in our country to go to college. So most people get out of high school. They go straight into college. College here in America is insanely expensive, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars. And after all these kids get out of school, we owe back all this money. It's like a big issue right now in America. And Alex doesn't have any debt because he's lucky. I went to a cheap school, first of all, a school that is the most affordable state school in the state that we live in, that we grew up in. Is it really? And my father also started a mutual fund whenever I was an infant. And I got half of my tuition off based on like scholarships and such. So it didn't really cost a whole lot. And I had a father who planned ahead. He didn't make a crap ton of money. So like I didn't get toys and stuff growing up like any more than any other kid. Like I wasn't like super spoiled. Definitely privileged for sure. Sure. But like, thank you, Dale and Shay. Yeah, they did great. That's nice. But. That's a funny question, and I'll, I'll just start it because this is very spontaneous. What you got, Will? So, you guys are both in your mid-40s, mid-50s. You have kids, they're in college. How, what do you think, do you think you should pay for their uh, tuition, or do you think you should let them pay for their Ooh, tuition? Can I answer okay. that? Because it is directly applied to what I just said. I just... I want to tell the audience real fast, this is hypothetical. Me and Alex aren't actually 40-year-olds yes. with kids. This is all But, I mean, we could I'm be single. This is a question. We could just be middle-aged men that have hot sun bods. Okay, irrelevant. <laughs> answer my question, dude. <laughs> so my answer is absolutely yes. I feel like, personally, I have to because my father did. I have no excuse. I have been debt-free my entire life other than, like, credit cards now what if your parents didn't help you pay for it well then it would be a lot different yeah what would you i do? would still instinctually want to because i'm aware of like and i'm not when i say this i might sound like a dick like i'm judging other people whose 
parents don't pay for because I know you're obviously your parents didn't pay for your college so I'm not trying to say that your parents didn't do a good job like everybody's just trying to survive in this world so I'm not saying judging but like for me because that's how I grew up and even if I didn't I with the knowledge that I have now I feel like I would still want to do it because of how society is I know that in 2018 even fast forward a decade or two whenever I I hope it's three decades from now that I'm having a college age student Um, (laughs) like it's gonna be even more important to go to college and to me it is a parent's responsibility to make sure that your kid is as set up and prepared to live a healthy adult life as you can until they're an adult so like to me that is college is still included in Good that because now we're, today it's a standard everybody's getting at least a bachelor's degree we're getting in deep this is like a serious topic I'm right just, now oh like I, it's it sucks for me to like explain that because it sounds like i'm judging people that don't do this because most of my friends are in debt because their parents didn't pay for their college it sucks but my at God. the same time it's like you brought the kid into the world and you're like expecting them to just like go into thousands of dollars in debt just to be a human in yeah. this country no, I, I would agree. I would hope in the future that I am financially secure enough where I could help my kid pay for their college. Yeah. Um, my parents did a middle ground, Will. They, like, paid they, – they are paying for, like, some of it. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, maybe okay. – may, my parents are paying for, like, maybe a third of my school. That's nice. I mean, and, that's something. Like, yo, no, it's great. I'm super happy. Um because I was going to have to go to college regardless um, with how society is in America. but um, So I'm getting a little bit of help, but I do have to pay some, which teaches you you know, like how to manage your money and stuff like that, which is important. But w- hypothetically, would you pay for – would you pay for your son or daughter's I would. I would hope I could. Okay. I would hope I could. Um if they had to pay some of it, I wouldn't feel bad about it. Mm-hmm. Probably because that's what happened what to me. Idea. Yeah. But I would hope I would try to help them as much as I can because it's this weird, it's this weird thing about like, you get out of college, you literally don't have anything on your resume, so you're starting from like the bottom, and you also are starting with this debt. Like it's a weird situation. <laughs> It's really weird. Like it's kind we, of a trap, guys. It's like a, it is a trap. We're explaining this like. Oh, yeah, everybody in America has to go to college. But that's only from the people that have the same perspective and upbringing as us, like right. middle class white kids. Right, yeah. Like, there are a lot of demographics that if that's not the standard. Sure. And it they, is for us, and that is for, like, the, the yeah, community and society like, that we grew up in. Yeah. Because we were in Th- that. This gets into, like, a whole different topic about, like, choice. environment, but, like, where we grew up, that was the norm. Like, That's just get, our life. Yeah, you, like... It's not a comparison. Everyone thing. we it's went like... to high school with and stuff, like, you get out of high school, you go to college. That was, like, the thing everyone did. If everyone didn't do that out of high school, maybe I wouldn't have went to college. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. It's a weird It's a weird thing to All right, guys. About. Hey, can I answer my question? Yeah, let's no. hear it, Will. Okay. Would I like to pay for my child's tuition? Of course. Will I? That is to be answered. You kind of sound a little bit I mean, withheld. I, I you kind of sound like you don't want to. I, I kind of don't. Just Are you going to have kids? Cause you I'm going to have kids. No, not. it's nothing like that. You're like, f*** those little bad. One. Um, Good luck. I think with... Um, I mean, my parents had four boys so that's a lot of money that's a lot of money fork out because we all went to college we all graduated um and my biggest thing is it's taught me what money is yeah Um, it's like discipline it's it's like a stage of life that get over the debt hump and i don't know first challenge of adulthood going off of what blake said like it's taught me a lot of how to like budget my money um, I just like my f- finances of my life and, um, I, I feel like I would spend a lot more money right now in my life. You'd just be like buying if, sh- Yeah. If my parents, 
Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> if you guys if didn't have that payment, for, yeah, yeah, dude. If I didn't have college debt and I didn't have god. a car payment, I would be That's rolling like in it. Five hundred, six hundred dollars a yeah, month. Yeah, eat more than that yeah. for me. That would be a lot yeah, I, of money. Honestly, saved. I can't imagine because I feel broke it's now and I don't have those payments. Like I feel you, dude. Dude, yeah. You guys the, look like you're about to make out right now. I mean, let's kiss. I, We're having a moment. I'm, We're having I, a moment. I'm I've <laughs> the sh like right now. Like, I'm we're holding it. hands. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, uh, I'm uncomfortable. Guys, a what, what would you pick if one of these things had to be the way of life? Would you pick the currency system we have now, money, or would you pick bartering system? What would you choose uh, if you could choose? I would say bartering because I feel like I'd be able to – become more successful as a male prostitute <laughs> okay <laughs> you would just offer um, sex yeah sex i would services. get more things like people just get weird about like money like prices and stuff and they'd be like 60 dollar hand job that's not worth it how good but, like no, if it was like no, no, no. how about i give you a hand job for that video game and they'd be like well wow, that's would you, yeah would you want a video game if you're well i guess I don't really like video games that much. When I think of bartering, I think of like the Renaissance. But if bartering existed now, it would be like that. It would be like everything would be the same except it would be bartering. So, yeah, that would work. So I would like just make a painting and then just receive hand jobs. <laughs> you would receive them? It'd be like and I would like try and sell my paintings on the street and it would just be like, you have to give me 10 hand jobs <laughs> throughout the week. <laughs> Al, can we go back and just call them old-fashioned tugs? <laughs> I am absolutely for that. Okay. <laughs> the what, old would, what would you tug. want, Will? Would you want bartering? Um, or? I think I would want money. Just bartering is a skill. Um, it is. You and have you, to be good at it. You to have get, to have. You you also have to have a skill. Yeah, and right. it's like, well, money just. I'm gonna in. give either my time or something that is in my possession to someone for something in return like my it's complicated it's very complicated my skill is just like social sciences and like who is gonna like if it comes down to bartering and it's just like i need a roof over my head i need food who yeah. the f is gonna want to be that? like man i need my oil change will you like give me a therapy yeah session like so that's I'll... not gonna happen just unless they're depressed it's just think of <laughs> i'd our, be like our, sure our, currency system and how easy it is to get things i feel oh, like yeah. currency just, n nowadays it's so simple currency takes the bartering system and just makes like a mutual thing that everyone can barter like currency is the bartering system except instead of a specific skill it's like we have this a set we have this price. token that has value and it's we, it's right. really it's silly to think about money. Like, oh, here's a small it's, piece of paper. You know what's crazy? I'm going to give it to you, and you're going to give me something back, and I'm going to like it. Dude, you guys know what blows my mind about money? I think about this from time to time. Like, think about this. The only reason money works is because the collective society believes that it's worth something. Right. It's like, imaginary. I'm literally just trading paper. I can't do anything with this paper. It's like, crazy. Like, if people just were like, we don't believe in this paper anymore, it would just fall, like, the whole thing would just fall through. It's supposed to be backed up by gold, but why the f*** do I... It been since, like, the, the 70s. It hasn't, and like, even if it was... Like right now. Dude, even if it was backed That's up by so gold, like why do I want gold? Ambiguous. Gold is the same thing as the dollar bill. Like, it's the same thing. Yeah. Right, it's just, like, material. Like, yeah, like, why, just, like a why do I metal. want gold? It's funny. Each paper is the same. Like, a $20 bill is the same yeah. sheet of fabric that a $100 bill is. They just are printed differently. Yeah, like, let's say let's say the economy collapsed and everything just went to sh and I was starving on the street. And someone's like, oh, I, ha I don't have any bread, but I have this gold here. I'm going to be like, fuck you. I don't want this gold. I want a roof over my head and Give I want some food. sausage. Yeah. Like what if, what if you got a what if you got the gold to get the room? The gold would only work if other people believed in the gold. If they didn't believe if they were just like this is a mineral from the earth. 
But it wouldn't mean anything. It's all just a uh, what abstract. You, what if you got a What if you got a diamond, Blake? What are you gonna do then? I'm not gonna eat it. I'll tell I you would. that it's not gonna keep me alive. I'd eat it. You would yeah, just did. maybe maybe if you maybe ate it, like somebody would give take you out all my teeth. Like, That's maybe it would eat a, maybe it would give you like a power. You would have grills. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> grills of no teeth. <laughs> but but seriously, like if if the economy collapsed, I've always heard people be like, "Oh, if the economy collapsed, it would go back to a bartering system, and people would use gold and silver." I'm like, "Bullshit! I wouldn't want that." They use Everybody, chickens. They use eggs. Yeah, yes. that's what they would use. No, it would be like that. I don't. I disagree because they're like gold and silver. There has always been value in that. There has. I agree, but I don't give a f- about it. But I don't care. Well, like the only course. reason there's value, it. the only reason so there's you're, value is chicken. Sa- you're basically saying in a bartering system that is how you would. Because this is the thing, it wouldn't be a bartering system if you're using gold and silver. Gold and silver is still well, currency and money. Exactly. It would be bartering like skills, time, yes, mater- like uh, material, bulk goods, like yeah. I it mean, would be completely different than like here is a rep- representation of wealth because really like silver is cool but it's not it's not really more you. worth anything yes, it over is. an animal. There's a, a very good nutritional value in it. <laughs> and silver, <laughs> yeah. Silver. Little, Let me see your sources, nugget of Will. silver. Oh, that'll keep you going for a while. A nugget backed by myself. Actually, McDonald's nuggets are gold. They're made of real gold. What? Yeah. what are you talking about? Yeah, the, the golden arches. I'm okay. done. I'm Al's out of the podcast yep. again. I think we fire him every podcast. Okay, well, pay me money, McDonald's. Barring <laughs> not system. a sponsor, or what would you want? Yeah. You would want money. I'll tell you this: I'd want money, money, but a combination of the both would be the best. Of a both. currency system both makes worlds. things easier. It makes things simpler because you don't have to have a. I mean, you do have to have a skill. To get the to get the currency, you have to know how to count. You have to know how to count. I don't know how to count. But what are numbers? You're screwed. I have days in my life where I wake up and I'm like, I'm like, God damn, things would be so much easier if I could just go build a fence for Mister Johnson and he could give me food for the day. Yeah, like, that'd be really, awesome. Like that would be easy. It would. It, I have days where I'm like, man, I wish that was the life. Like, but also, could, in addition to the food, like a couple hand jobs. <laughs> <laughs> for there, Mr. Johnson. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. There, that was swell. Your callus has really added a nice... <laughs> Alex in the, their old-fashioned tugs. Calloused, <laughs> calloused HJs. Yee. That's my favorite. Okay, enough of the HJs, boys. Clean up your act. Come on. Okay, You're I... You're this. Um, ask we could question. talk about this. I'm going to ask a question, except I'm not going to ask a question. I'm going to make a statement, and then I just want you guys to tell me how it makes you feel. Okay. I'm going to say... I feel very angry right now. That's all I have to say. Well, take it out on this place. No, I'm going to take it out on you. All right, take it out on my face. That's the end of the podcast. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. <clears throat> so my statement is spending money is a drug. Oh, my God. I know all about this. It yes. totally, there's a release of dopamine when you do it. I'm saying we all are addicted. Even me, and I'm frugal. I mean, some people... This is like everybody. I don't know a single person, and I'm not saying they don't exist. I just hang out with a lot of like boring middle class people that are just a part of the game, um, and just sheep. And no offense, everybody I know. You're good, but uh, I take it's just it's it's it's, you're, it's an addiction. No people just spend money as like an event. It's like entertaining to spend money. I've definitely had times in my life where I was like. I uh, I'm not feeling so good. I'm just gonna go spend money. Like I've definitely like you're done like it. depressed. I'll tell you. I'll tell you a like good sad. example. A perfect. The example I always go back to when I think about this is, um, so I'm a year older than Alex and Will. Okay, everybody listening. So there was a year like we were friends in high school. The year I was going into college. No, 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 no. It wasn't when I was going into college. This is later in life. This is when I was exiting. I was exiting college, and they were both going back for their senior year, okay? The, the, I was, like, in this state where I was like, I'm not going back to school this year. My friends are leaving. 
Like, I was just sad. I was like, what am I going to do? I was still, like, trying to figure out my career, like, what my job was going to be. And I was like, what am I going to do? And the summer ended. Alex and Will left. And I was just, like, trying to figure out life. And I was like, I'm just going to go buy a new Nintendo system. And I went and bought the Wii U because I was just, like, sad. I was just sad. I was like, I'm just going to buy this and forget my worries. And that's, like, it felt good to buy it. Part of that was probably because you were, like, bored, and you knew that would take up your time, but also just, like, the physical act of buying it, right? It was, like, a distraction. Like, it was, like... Like, did you feel like a boss whenever you, like, paid the money? I'm sure you were probably like, ooh, that's a lot of money, but yeah, at the same time, I mean, you are probably just, like, change. feel like... A, it's almost like a high, because you're like, I it can is. drop that money. It's, yeah. I have that money, it's like and that. I'm able to just f- obtain this it's almost expert like a, technology it's like, that somebody created. It's almost like a control thing. Like yeah. I was like, oh, I it's can power. Do, I can do this. Money is power. It's evil. I it just for just for the record, I'm not a fan of money. Like I think it's an, money. I think it's an evil thing. It's crime. But I abide by it. What do you think, Will? Money? Yeah, it is a drug. I mean, yeah, there's people. You can, you can say that about anything in life. Though. Totally. Like, there... Totally are so many yeah but i just like to talk about this because willerton over here is always like you guys want to go get some peanut m&ms yeah because <laughs> it's fun to just like go buy something and be able to it like enjoy fun. it immediately it is fun and, i mean when i think about that type of shit, that's like pocket change that's just yeah sure like sure easy. but it's thank, just like it's just like little bitty highs thank like god taking a little tub. thank god that I mean, we that in an ed- economic um uh, like principle that is called what is it um, god this is gonna drive me bonkers if I don't find figure it out nickel and diamond no it's like uh, it's the satisfaction you get of uh, that transaction it's just like a well it's a tra- it's anything it's you think like, about that but yeah I you know you make a decision about. there's like yes, closure to it gosh, I'm gonna have to look this up yeah get on it buddy it's just it's funny because there's other things that are layered in there with it. Like it's not just like I'm gonna throw money. It's not like gambling where you're just like literally betting on yeah. money or throwing money, just like in the dark or whatever. It's it's like I'm also kind of hungry. Like an ice cream cone does sound good, so I'm gonna go and get uh, a 59 cent cone from McDonald's. Yeah. McDonald's. Not a sponsor. <laughs> um, I will say that. I I'm I should be happy because like I am definitely not rolling in the money, but I have like secured. Like I'm stable in my life right now. Like I can just go to the grocery store and just pick out what I want and not have to like check my bank account. And there's some people that do, and I'm sorry that that is the way that this works out for some people. Like that sucks. Um. But I'm not buying your groceries. Yeah, but yeah, uh, I I can fi- find it, and I don't want to spend the time. But all right, don't sweat it. It's basically like what you get out of like the outcome. You know what? So I- if you if if you're weighing the options between a um like a salad versus um. If, if we're going McDonald's here, God, like we're a, just repping Mickey D's, like, not a sponsor. <laughs> I never like even a Big go Mac there. or something like that. It's like the satisfaction you weigh between. Like getting if you one take thing. the step up, yes. Like if I, you get there's the, a, there's an economic. Oh, if you get the quarter pounder instead of the McDouble, this is really it's like a strategy, it's not, like combos. Yes. They're like, you want to make that a combo no, meal? It's not that. It's oh. it's it's, it's like sorry. your decision making throughout the day, and you get that. It's the satisfaction. That's there's like a problem it's like uh how can i most efficiently spend my I mean, money there's here? definitely a dope can i get the most bang for my buck there's and definitely the, a dope that release the technical term that's... is bang for buck well I, <laughs> I think that's in college textbooks yes. bang for buck bang, um the bangy for the bucky that's right that's right guys you know what's weird about money i'll tell you right now if you it this sucks but in at least i can't talk for all countries but at least in western society like it it translates directly into power 
Like the more you have, the more power you have. Like if I had, let's just say hypothetically, Blake had five hundred billion dollars, I could (laughs) go to space if I wanted to. You would, yeah, you can. It's crazy. I would be insane. I would be working for you, Blake. Like. Be I'd be giving you hand jobs right. all day, man. If I had old fashioned tugs, if I had that, oh, Jesus. If I had that kind on. of money, we would all not Come be on. like we would not be working. Um, I'd be your I old would, fashioned tugger. I would take care of everybody, but like it's it's just weird how it translates to power. Like you can, this is f- up. But if I had five hundred billion dollars and I got it like a DUI, I could just make that disappear. It could just go away. You could. It's and f***ed up. You could also do a lot of fun things. You could do a money. lot of fun things. That is like the biggest thing that I hate about money. Is like going places. It costs to go places. It's expensive to travel. To do anything. To yeah. like live yeah. your life. Everything like costs money. money. Well, maybe it doesn't have to. I no, don't think it has every, to. I wish I could like give myself that, to it. I'm slowly working that on principle, it. That you're, principle, you're always giving something. Nothing is free. I don't believe that. It's like, oh, this is a free meal. Well, you know what you're doing? You're giving your time going yeah. over there. No, you're right. Every well, decision, mean, every decision, you're spending something. Mm-hmm. Um, can I can I ask you both about an up upcoming? Well, it's not really upcoming. It's already hit. No, a trend in our society today. No. The millennials. Yes. No. I will. And yes. And Ven- Venmo specifically. Ooh, that's Venmo. very good. That. Th- that's I think is a game changer. If I don't know about oh yeah. If you're listening, Venmo's a new app that you can get on like your smartphone or whatever you have, and it lets you like not carry cash. Like you can trade money instantly. You can transfer your funds from your bank account to someone's Venmo account. Yeah. So and then once you get that money into your Venmo account, you can transfer it into put it in your, your bank. bank account. So like for example, if you're not familiar with this, if me and Will go out to eat and Will's just like, I'll get the bill, we'll split it later. Yeah. I can or, just go into this app, split the bill and send him the money. He'll get it in two days. Yeah. The best thing is is like if you forget your wallet and yeah. you're oh, like, yeah. oh ow. Hey Buy my yada yada yada. Whiskey. I'll, pa- I'll pay you right now. And if you if you like cut out all the middleman stuff, it basically it is a middleman. In an, in a nutshell, it's like you're carrying your wallet on your phone. Yep. Is basically what it is. So I mean, it, there's been like PayPal is essentially the same thing. Yeah. Hey, that's Elon. Yeah. Yeah. Elon Musk made PayPal. Really? Uh, yep. Gosh, He's got his fingers in everything. What a jerk. Wow. He's amazing. So yeah, that opens up like a whole new world because Blake and I were just talking about this this morning. Like, anytime you would go out to eat, everybody like like for example, I said fifty nine cent cones earlier. Like, if you just went and got that, that's probably a poor example because like fifty nine cents usually people can just dismiss that. But say you go and get something that's like five dollars, and like the tab is fifteen dollars among three friends, and Will pays for whatever it is. And then, like, I don't know, 10 years ago, you might be just like, I'll get it this time. Maybe you guys will pay me back the next time or give me back. You just, like, wouldn't worry about it. Or if you had cash, you would do it. But, like, most of the time, you just wouldn't have cash. But with Venmo, you can actually be pretty fair all the time. And it's really not that hard to, like, five bucks, you could just be like, oh, five dollars or whatever. But I'm frugal. So, like, I like that I can be able to, like, get paid that and just pay people i hate being in debt or feel like i owe somebody something i like to be able to pay you even two dollars it takes zero effort with venmo like whereas before if you split something it's like oh i gotta go to my bank i gotta get cash to pay you back with venmo it's like well i can just pay you right now instantly you're at an atm at any moment in your life pretty much hey uh in the comments you guys should tell us if we're weird or not so in our friend triangle uh, we pay each other back like religiously. Like even if Will goes to the gas station and buys like my candy and I owe him like seventy cents, I'll pay him back. Let us know if that's weird or not. I like it. I think it's efficient. I think it, it's it's a matter of just respect and efficiency. I would agree. I mean, we're all in agreement because we do. Plus, it. Yes. anytime you Venmo somebody, it's just a good excuse to use a cute little emoji. Yeah, you always like Battery. put a little note, yeah, like a middle finger. Okay. A little. 
witty comments. But in like some, <laughs> yeah. in some, this like, is for the drugs. In okay. some, in some friend groups, like that's not a big deal, and that's not how it operates. It's like, oh, you got me now. I'll get you back another time, or maybe never. Um, and we're on the ball with that. <laughs> it's yeah. just better than not having. It's it. It's just it's funny because it comes down to respect. Like I just re- I just want you guys to be the best person you can be. So I'm just gonna like give you your money. And we you. do it so often that you would totally lose track. Like it's not like we hang out twice a year or yeah. three times a year, and like each time we'll take turns paying for the meal like it's like a daily thing that we have to pay each other for so if you just stay on top of it it's just easy and then like everybody's still like pretty even financially it's healthy i'm just gonna go on a tangent here i'm going back to the bartering system (laughs) if we if we were doing the bartering system what would you guys what would be your thing that you bartered like, what would be the thing that you were like, I can offer you this? Old-fashioned tugs. Get the f*** <laughs> out of here. Um, that I think that depends on what I'm getting. It every, doesn't. Every time. Yes, it doesn't it does. depend on what you get. Yes, getting. it does. Okay, let's like say you're if, getting an old-fashioned tug. We're done with old-fashioned yeah, tugs. They're God. done! All right, that's it. Gosh. Calm yourself, sir. Let's say I I disagree. I I think every situation it's makes situational. A difference. Yeah, it's situational. I see it's like it's different. If I'm getting a meal of some sort um, or a car, I see your point. What am I gonna give them? Like my time of some sort? Yeah, or, my firstborn son. It's like if I'm at a meal, it's like, hey, if you give me this sandwich of some sort. I've said some sort like four times in the last five minutes. <laughs> One more time. Some but time. if I got that sandwich, I'd be like, well, I'm going to get or I'm going to clean my dishes for you or run the dishwasher for five hours. Dude, I was just thinking about that when I was doing dishes this morning. But like, that would be completely different if I was getting like something clothing. Bigger. Clothing, yeah. I would probably trade like. Oh, I'll give you this shirt for that shirt type of deal. I like think one for one. I know what I could offer now, being in my mid twenties and like being active. I could offer time and I could offer labor. You know what else you could offer? Old fashioned tugs. No. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Real mature. You're seven. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not good. That could be a bar like some woman's good. like, I need a child and I'm just like, Well, well I'll give you, we'll I'll give get you a seed. We'll and, get it going. Give you a little glass container. But you gotta cook for me. <laughs> for just, like what, cook nine what years. Would I, what would I barter to give away my my salmon? Oh, what are you worth? This is like an art question. Oh, this yeah. is hard. It all. No, I'm not gonna say that. I mean, do I have to? to you tell me the situation. Involved. Am I? Do I have to help this woman raise this kid, or does she just want a no. child? No, no. Okay. I think that's number like, one line okay. of the contract. <laughs> if you okay. have to, yeah. yeah that's okay, so this, so I gotta break down this bartering thing. So this woman wants a child, but she wants to raise it on her own. She just needs my cunt <laughs> to <laughs> yeah. make a baby, f- and I'm giving her my. <laughs> what am you're I gonna her, ask? You're giving her a leader. What am I? <laughs> a leader, <laughs> dude. That is gonna take. <laughs> <laughs> Going back to time, trying to that's gonna take some time. I'm gonna have to barter. Line. I'm gonna have to barter a f- year worth of HJs to get a liter. Of c- Damn, that's, that's cheap, dude. That's a lot. That's cheap. A year? No, I'm for saying a liter of c- I'm, I'm gonna need that yeah. to oh, produce that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> you can do. Okay, hey, you can work that into one of your okay. other barters. I'll, I would I'll say work out a deal make with two you. and one. I would say. I mean, here's the thing: is that it's valuable because she doesn't have semen, but that's very easy for me to produce. Like that doesn't take any time, and it doesn't take any effort on my part. What if you were a bodybuilder and you just wanted to get her uh, milk? I mean, that's the same situation. It's like I'll I'll knock you up, but you have to give me all of your your formula. First off, I'm not drinking that. Sh- <laughs> like that's done. It's you honestly get out of the teeth. I read this. I read this on the internet, which means that it's infallibly infallibly true. Wikipedia. Um, I don't even. Probably not even that. Um, probably some dude's Facebook post. But it said that. Better. 
that uh, breast milk is one of the most efficient protein sources for a human being to consume. It's probably true. And some f***ed up bodybuilders do it. But I don't care. It's like, they're, it's like they're pregnant wives. So like I would, yeah, I would suck my wife's ass to get huge. Okay, sure. here's the new question. The new question. <laughs> just got new- in from a lift. Give me, give me your boobies. <laughs> <laughs> so hang on, hang on, hang on. You're the new question. Look, man, okay, we're we're yeah, going man. to, we're <laughs> gonna go. We're all three gonna take this journey into this hypothetical bartering situation <laughs> the situ- the salmon? yes of the salmon <laughs> okay. the barter the situation is a girl wants a child she picks you she's like i like how you look you i hot. like your build i want your seed in me what do you guys ask in return for giving her that what's the bartering give me the bartering decision what? That you at like what is that worth? You want like for an you actual to do? specific answer. You want, yes, you want me I to do. actually think. I'm gonna say. Hmm. I'm gonna say I want one chicken, and you have to cook my meals for a week. That's it. That's all I want. Wow. You can have it then. Holy that's, cow! That's me. I mean, it's it, it's simple for me to produce. Like I'm just like oh. Up, up. I'm done. See, <laughs> wow, but can you do that one more time for us, bud? Oh, wop, 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 wop. No. Wop, 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 bamboo. And you're done too, Allie. Fired, fired, again. fired again. See you, buddy. Dude, all I have to say is your tribe is smoking. I don't know what that means. I don't even know if that's is the that right Survivor. Words. <laughs> is yeah. that Survivor? Um, shit. You're I'm pretty tried. sure. You're trying. It I'm makes me sure want to quit. Is. Like everything you're that done. just happened in the past ten <laughs> seconds you're makes done. me not even want to be friends with you. It makes me want to quit. You're done. Um, <laughs> just my, stop talking. I, stop. Your answer <laughs> made me Did. feel Did. okay. I'm done. I am really. I'm gonna need five seconds. Yeah. For what? For to produce? It's gonna start when you stop talking, and every time you interrupt, I am gonna start over. All right, let's everyone just take a moment of silence. If Five seconds. That's all. If I you're ask. driving in your car or you're listening in the library, whatever you're doing, let's just take a moment of silence. Just together. breathe. And we're back. Okay, so to answer Blake's question, I'm gonna say. That I would also like a chicken. And... I feel like that's valuable. This is in the scenario of a like post-apocalyptic world where we would actually be bartering. And so I want things that I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need. Let's say she has a chicken. So this is limited to... So for you ladies out there, if you're thinking about bartering with me, make sure you got a chicken first. Step one, otherwise move along. And then... Um, Chickens would probably be worth a lot. The milk. I'm going with the milk. <laughs> okay. You're weird. Just all of it until the baby's born. Chicken and you milk. You are weird. Going with the <laughs> milk. Weird. Booby juice. Will, what do you want for the seed? Hmm. Would you want one of her daughters <laughs> as a spouse? It depends on what her daughters look like. <laughs> if, they're my, if they're my type, maybe. I mean, I'm not trying to be de- degrading there, but... How long are her legs? It, it's. I think it's... every. This is a hard answer. I, can I give you an answer right now? Yes. What, do you, what is it, dude? Come on. If she has candy, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I need um, gummy sharks or else it's not happening. Yeah. <laughs> you got the hookups? Yeah. Show me the eggs, baby. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I was talking candy eggs, though, but you could have taken that anywhere. <laughs> We're going off the rails today. Uh, if you want me to inseminate your uh, eggs, you're going to have to send me no, the eggs. But to answer your question, uh, I'm, quitting. I'm quitting. Like number, if we're going money value, I would have to oh. I would have to say like 
Yeah, let's put a dollar amount you on this. Let's put a dollar, yeah, 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 put a let's dollar let's amount on your. your yeah, we'll, we'll go first. I'm gonna say the lowest amount, and this this could be really high because if you think about a child, think of everything that you get from that child. You get so much joy. It's a lot. It's a lot. It there's negative side effects there, but. There's a lot from a, having a kid, and I would say my number is, and I don't want to be like arrogant here, but just lay it lo- on us. The well. lowest amount I would take one hundred and fifty dollars. One hundred and fifty dollars for like, your sperm. I feel like that's fair. the. I the, don't know that. That's a weird number. The thing is a one time payment. The right? thing that would drive this number down is how many men are around. Well, that's the thing. It's like I don't want to be because, like, like, if you said 150, well, someone might be like, "Well, I'm just gonna go shop around yeah. for some more c- somewhere." Well, else. exactly. <laughs> and I don't want to be an arrogant bat. And I look at that situation as, "Oh, I can do this as many times as I want." Type of deal. Yeah, I mean, we don't run it's out. It's like, oh, I can have multiple young Williams running around. The thing, I wouldn't charge 150 dollars because it's so easy. It is so produce. easy. But then again, you could be like, what if my gene is the best gene out there? I Absolutely. The That's where it I'm comes going. Down yeah, it comes, it down, comes down to genes. It comes down to genes. Yeah, a little I think you it comes down around. to your f- personal pride. I would, yeah, yeah, there's going to be a little Blake running around. Yeah, I'd say dude. 50 bucks. But the thing... 25. That, that's <laughs> it's, it's super cheap. Like, you want... You want Ladies, Ladies, fifty dollars. I'll give you Blake's number. 50 bucks. <laughs> 50 bucks. But... The thing that would wig me out about that is having a kid that's mine that I'm not raising. Like that would well, be weird for me. That's the easiest. That would be situation weird. Situation about it. It's that like, would be that's weird. That's the easiest fifty dollars. I mean, it would be scenario. super easy. But in the back of my head, this whole time, I would be like, "Oh my god, there's some kid that's half me that I don't even know," and that would be weird. So that would be like psychological damage. It's a hundred now, ladies. <laughs> that's yeah that's like the defining thing for me yeah it's not about the ease of thing like i i jerk off enough to be like i'll yeah i'll take yeah. whatever cash you'll give Guys, me think but like what... it's the thing about inseminating an actual yeah. human being and that's making huge. it happen. weird that's huge i just had a really random thought go what is it just lay it think on about the owls your th- your statement of like think about all the times you've jacked off <laughs> think about all the times you've jacked off and <laughs> what if you Impregnated a woman every single time. Oh! <laughs> I would have lots of children. Yeah, be two Chinas. Would you do it? Would you do it then? If- no, I have this awful thing that I think about in my head at times. This, this is, is this is a weird this thing is to think a, about. The really weird question for money. <laughs> listen, listen to this. I, I think sperm. about this thought sometimes. I think about, and it all started with me. What if every time you've jacked off? All the possible humans in every jack off you've done. What if you had to like experience every one of their lives as like punishment? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that would be worth it. No, no. Good God, I'd rather be like, slice it off. Like, like millions. millions. That would be like forever. Like yeah. millions of cells. Yeah, Gosh. that's like tons of people. Okay. So okay, I'm gonna just butt in here while we're still on the sperm topic. I looked it up. And I went to a website called ToughNickel.com. I don't even know if that's like a actual Sounds super reliable. Legit, dude. <laughs> Sounds super legit. But I don't guys, give a f- We're just talking. This is my website. Okay, so <laughs> anyway, you know, Will's, yeah, you know, Will's website, ToughNickel.com, says that... Just hang on real fast. Just for to, legal issues, we're not I'm a sponsor. Kidding, that's no, not kidding. Will's website. No, right, it's definitely it. not. If you believed that, then you're an idiot. We are very Sorry. sarcastic. Go for if it. you haven't um, caught that by episode six yeah. now. Okay, yeah. For, can we just make a general statement for the entire entirety of this podcast nothing we say is valid or correct like get go. over yourselves yeah. you sue go. us i don't care but that's, hey, that's your us. energy this, don't this is us. all your energy say. you're gonna have to live with that we'll kiss, i agree will kiss the mic. yeah that's Just all agree. i was okay so what i was gonna say from toughnickel.com um so <laughs> tell me that value bro how what much can you make as a sperm donor is the question 
of the article, and at first it starts talking about like if you're a regular sperm donor, like What's I don't regular? know what it's even. What's I, I don't know. It doesn't talk about frequency, but it just says like a vague number. You can earn around a thousand dollars a month. What? Donor. I'm assuming. What? I'm assuming that that's like a regular output, like a, at least that's a few like a times day, a week. At least. B- I'm already doing based that. on based on <laughs> a lot of money. the next answer. It says per like sperm donation like i guess this is an individual time it says although payments from sperm banks vary most are between 100 and 125 dollars oh my god so so, I was a little so will was a little bit pricey Ooh. i mean i reasonably but, so but blake my seat undersold himself by a 50 50 percent <laughs> cheap Let's, ladies hit me up i'm a manager hey i charge 25 all, though. all disputes aside let's get to the real point here when the f- are we donating j- like, <laughs> Let's yeah, start this. <laughs> oh my god! Thousand dollars a month. I'm gonna Holy say. Sh- I'm gonna say. We're no. just gonna do this specifically for try the goulash and just. It would be an actual goulash, mess. guys. But let's we, sell. Hey guys, we should jerk off into a bowl and just sell the goulash that is in the bowl, and that would be the try that's the goulash. The sauce. You yeah, know what's crazy about that? Okay, is no, if we did do that, that and someone used it to inseminate. Only one of those sperms would make it, which means it would be a one in three chance one of us would have the kid. It's like roulette, fatherhood. Roulette. It would be roulette. Well, let's, let's I don't our, think all our that's jizz cr- that's crazy money. All right, so ladies listening yeah, in, send us, uh, send us. We're gonna do a, like a competition, and we're gonna decide which of you is gonna, gonna Lady, get the, hey, the yeah, goulash. I'm cutting them off. I'm yeah. cutting it off. <laughs> we are ladies, gentlemen. We respect you. I'm I sorry. You. We're talking about. J- so much in this episode. Yeah, I don't know how we got our in money. Reality, I don't know what's going this on. This is here. our friendship and ha ha, JK. We yeah, this debate is just us. Things like this, we're never. Um, we're not giving you our sperm. Yeah. So grant, get over it. Unless we're, we're in not a good relationship. Anyone out there? We are unless just we're in a good relationship. Shooting the shit and <laughs> debating. We're pieces of shit. things that men think about. Guys, that's it. We're just being honest. A You're grand, welcome. A grand a month is a lot of money, and that's enticing, yeah. but still, you would even, even... So we're not in the bartering system today, but even if we went and did that, there would still be the little Blakes running around, yeah. and that would like... It's my weird, head. yeah. It's weird. I'm going to I'm gonna switch it up, and this is my last quash, quash, quash. This is my quash. last question. Quash. Quash. Uh, I'm going to ask go catch some switch. Here we and go. And it goes about the hypothetical lottery let's say you win the lottery oh i what love are this you, question what are you gonna do let's, we'll finish Ooh. out on this question because yeah. this is okay. gonna be a good conversation whoa, 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 whoa. um okay. let's put down the d- here for a bit let's go to the lottery we're going back to the original topic of money you win the lottery let's say it is 250 million okay you win it First off, do you take the lump sum or do you take... Let's explain this to the audience in in case someone doesn't know. So in America, we have the lottery here, which... If you're not familiar with the lottery... It's a tax on... I love this saying. This is an economical saying. It's a tax on the poor. They call it a tax on the poor. Basically, it's like... It's just gambling here in America. Like, you can pay for a lottery ticket or a lottery uh, pool... And you you pay like a dollar or two, you have a very very slim chance of winning. Like millions of people yes. play this. You get you get numbers. They draw what is it five number five or six numbers a yeah. night. Yeah, and if your numbers match that, you like, win. The most popular game here in America with lottery is probably Powerball, and I'm just going to give you a gist of this so you can understand how incredibly rare it is to win. You pay like a couple bucks for a ticket. There's numbers 1 through like 60, I think. You pick 5 numbers 1 through 60 and to win the Powerball, they they have a random they have a machine that generates numbers randomly and the machine has to generate your numbers in the exact order perfectly. It is insane like I have the probability of winning or something. I've read stati- like statistics before. Like um, I'm, I'm not familiar with uh, statisticians, but they've done the numbers, and you have a more, you're more likely to die 
somehow on your way to get the Powerball ticket than actually win the Powerball. So, like, it's insanely rare to win. That's the lottery. So, if you make it there, go and buy it because that's the lottery here in America. Now, if we won, well, if you win, you have two options. You can take a big portion of the money all in one payment. It's heavily taxed, but you get it all in one payment. It usually comes down to like half. Yes. So like if if you win a hundred million dollars, if you take the lump sum, you'll get like roughly fifty yes. million. Or or you take the It's like long term yeah. payout. Yes, and they'll give you a payment like every month until they pay the full amount. They don't tax it as hard, but it's split over like 20 years. So after 20 years, you might end up with like 80 million out of the 100 million. Yes. But you're only getting so much money every year. So like if you want to like buy a super big house or whatever you want to do, if you take the long-term one, you probably can't do that cuz you're only getting like 2 million every year, which is ungodly amount of money, but still. Yeah. So what's your answer, boys? What's your answer? Tell me. Tell me about your I've thought about this a lot. And tell me what you I've thought you about would this do. a lot because I play the lottery occasionally. And tell me what I'm doing in your life after you win. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm supposed laughs> no. How much the, candy will you give me? The, <laughs> yeah, I'm the candy man. Give me it. The lump sum in the long-term payment for me strictly comes down to how much money I want. Yes, I agree with that statement. <clears throat> that is very important. If I won... Ten grand, I'm taking the long term payment. Yeah. Really? Yes. If I win five hundred million dollars, I'm taking the lump sum payment. Why? Because the higher the amount is, I want the lump sum. Because honestly, like like we were talking about money at the beginning. I know it's evil. I know it's this bad thing. If I win a hundred million dollars, I don't need a hundred million dollars. If they're like, we'll give you 50 today, I'm just going to take that. Like, that's fine with me. Yeah, I know, but are you planning on just, like, spending it all at once? We'll get into no. this later. Yeah, we can't go. It. You uh, why can't we go into, into it right, right now? now? Yeah, dive into your I, answer. Because I want to, like, we'll get this lump sum thing done. Okay, keep if, going then. If it's 10 grand, I want the long-term thing, because I don't want 5 grand right now. I would rather have more, a little bit more. Yes. So like, that's not going to impact my life as if heavily. If it's, like... So you want the lump sum it. is yeah. over like a million. You're gonna take. If it's it. over a million, I'll take the lump sum. If but it's if under it's, a million, yeah, I'll probably do the long term. Okay. Here's my argument but, with that: is that if you take, even if it's a huge amount of money, that's unfathomable. Like, why? Why do you need that right away? Like, what, the 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 regular payments are still going to be more than enough that you would need at any given time. That's so a good point. So why not just guarantee that you're going to have the most money possible, that's a good period, point. Like, that's your standard. Would, like, if I won $100 million and I took the long term and got, like, it's still $2 million, be like million a million year? Dollars. Like, that would why be crazy. That's still yeah. more than you that can would spend. Crazy. I that's would, true. To answer that, that argument, I would say if I'm I making... Why. If I'm taking the long-term payment and that payment is over like, let's just say like an average salary of like 60000 a year, I'm totally taking the long-term payment. Yeah. Because... That's it's a salary. Exactly. Yeah. That's a salary. A I salary. could you can pace work yourself. 20, 30 hours a week and yeah. survive. You're not working 30 hours a week. I wouldn't want to work 30 hours. Here's the thing. If I won the lottery I'm just, and didn't have to worry about money, I would still work. But I agree with your big – I agree with your lump sum. Al, the reason number. I would take the lump sum if it was huge is because if I won that amount of money, I would want to do things. Yeah. That, and I'm not talking about like I want to buy a Lamborghini and I want a mansion. No. Like I want to like – I wanted. I got like big ideas. I want to do things. Yeah, but – this is the thing, like when you take that much money all at once, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a new job for you just to figure out how to bank all of that stuff. It is just to separate it out and to divide that out into different assets to where it, you can actually keep that money. It's just gonna be like a harder thing to manage. So unless you're trying to do something that's gonna, co unless you're trying to like build a football stadium, and just spend like hundreds of millions of dollars all at once. What like why can't you still do those dreams for the rest of your life regularly 
with but, the it's a good but point. to answer this this is what I have to say to your answer Al is what is, you know you don't know your future you could die and true true you, you if you, you have a terminal see, illness like, I'm little, taking little, little to That's none it. of this this money I if I am making more than a mil if the lump sum is coming out more than a million I'm taking it that's true. You, you can get hit a by second. a bus. Because it's like, think of, yeah, is that going to be a job to do all that? But think of what you could do with a million dollars. You could yeah, invest you it. Pay somebody you could, you yeah, could do dude. a little bit of fun spending. You could cover your kids' But you kids could colleges. probably still do it. Like if it's, if it's $500 million, you could still do all of those things if you got the regular payment. Even if it's only well, like $500,000. Yeah. Let's you, transition You can here. do a ton of stuff with that. Well, Let's Al needs to answer his question. I that's mean, my I'll, answer. Okay. My answer is in my argument. Okay. That's fine. I already know where I'd you take stand. The what would you do? Let's say it's $500 million. What would you do? I with said two hundred and fifty million. That what would you do with two hundred fifty? Yeah, million? let's just say you don't have the option. You just have all that money yeah. at once. What would you do? What would I do with it? What would you do? Um, it depends on where. Right now in my life, this is how I'm going to answer this question. First off, I would write a check to pay all my student loans. That's, That's smart. like Good day job, one. Will. Good That's job. like day one. Yeah. Proud of you. Next thing I would do, I'd probably buy a house. Okay. You're just gonna do a bunch of responsible things. Yes. Uh, for yourself invest in my now feature right now we're all smart with money i feel like we would all do responsible and the next thing i would probably invest like a big chunk of it in a roth IRA. hey yeah i've just invested um some probably very safe some probably very risky okay let's but we're all responsible i would let's also move past the responsible i would things. also spend like we like, would all take care of our family i probably wouldn't spend if i got 250 million that's a lot of money it's a lot like, the lump sum's not going to be that much but let's i would spend when i got it maybe the day of i would spend a lot like i would say 100k at least Oh shit. What are you spending hundred K on, dude? Um <laughs> at least. Clothes? No, not clothes. I would buy Kende. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I would buy the can- I would literally buy the candy industry and it, it would be my empire. I would be the Walter White dude, of Kende. I would call you Willy Wonka. Yeah. And you would just, I am Willy Wonka. You would sit on I just picture you sitting on like a candy cane throne yes. and you're just like not a candy cane throne. Candy canes are not good. I'll eat them. I, I mean, like him will I eat them? Yes. Seasonal times. Sharpen them of with course. your tongue and stab but someone. It's a shake. I want candy shanks. A gummy. Uh, that's a different topic. But okay. Yeah, we're getting into that. Let's not get into that, Will. I see you drooling. <laughs> <laughs> what are we talking about? Give me the bag. Okay, here's what I would do. But I would buy a car. Sure. I wouldn't even buy a new car. I would just pay off the one I have. Yeah, I wouldn't even I would, buy a new one. I would. I would do something very spontaneous, like a trip somewhere. I I could see traveling. Or just like something extremely Here's fun. the thing. I would not go... I would not be showy. I might buy a house. It's not going to be a mansion. Well, no. Like, I would not. just buy... I would rather... Something I'm very I would rather own fancy, but not just massive. average houses around the country. Like, it'd be cool just to be like, I'm going out to Colorado. Yeah. Got yeah, my place out there. Small houses Yeah, everywhere. that'd be cool. But, guys... Honestly, and I know this is like Miss America pageant thing, the materialist stuff wouldn't matter as much to me if I had that much money. I would like to like open I would just want to like help people. Like I would try to like open like a nonprofit or something like that. Or the only thing that I would like if we're talking like just spending money on like materialistic things, the thing that would get me the hardest would be creative endeavors. Like I would just go, I would just pour money into that. Like yeah. that's the one thing I would probably be like, okay, I'm gonna splurge. It's like, well, I'm just gonna be Charles Gambino now. Yeah, um, like like sit in my room and make beats. Yeah. Like with this podcast, if I won the lottery, I'd be like, okay, we're gonna have an office. We're all gonna have a mic. Like we're all gonna like. I would just that's the one thing I would like splurge on. Mm-hmm. Would be creative endeavors. That's a good one. Can I answer mine? <clears throat> in like literally what I would do like in the moment 
Like say I like was watching the Powerball and yeah, read the give, ticket. Give us a story. So if I read, if I was watching it, I got a Powerball ticket and I watched it that night and found out that I won and was just sitting there like, "Holy sh! I just won the Powerball." That would be insane. I just won hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh my goodness! So the first thing that I would do is I would call my. You father. call your dad? Yeah, I knew you would. <laughs> I would call my father and I would say, "Hey, daddy." Because I call my dad daddy, and I'm 25. And if you think that that's weird, then you can suck your own dick. Child. Unless you have a vagina. Um, and then if you... Yeah, I don't even care. Both of those. Um, so I would say, hey, daddy, open your email. Um, go ahead and start typing to your boss your termination letter. <laughs> and let's, uh, let's get together and plan our trip to Scotland. And oh, figure out God. exactly when we want to play the golf courses that you want to go <laughs> and play, and how long do you want to go? And let's just let's do this, and also call our uh, financial advisor because I have a lot of money now. And uh, yeah, let's uh, things are going to be different. And I would just spoil the hell out of him and my mother. I'd be like, all right, mother, we're going to go to Formula One racetrack, and you're going to get a get to drive <laughs> a car and be really fast and break some pottery uh i just spoiled the hell out of my parents like before i even did anything else probably because they prepared me so well and like gave me everything i needed so if that's any encouragement to pay for your kids college folks <laughs> i hope it is do it um but yeah i would spoil them and then i don't even know if i would like buy a bunch of property i used to think i would but maybe i would, I would just rent maybe i would just live like a vagabond and go wherever i want and just be, like rent because that would be very the cool. only reason i'd want to like own a house is because i don't want to pay rent if i would I did, pay myself if i didn't buy a house i would i could see myself buying land over a house like it would be cool yeah, to own land it would be cool to just like um, own property i'll tell you but, what though this is going to be my last like two cents on this I've thought about this. If if we're talking like the OG like story, like you're watching the Powerball and you won, yeah. the first thing I would do would be I don't even think I would tell my family. I would probably uh, wait a while, and yeah, I don't even know just if like to let it soak in. I don't even know if I would tell you guys. I right wouldn't. Away. Sorry for like a week like, or two. And if I did tell you guys, it wouldn't be a phone call. It wouldn't be text. I'd be like, we need to meet in person. This yeah. is serious. Yeah. yeah. And then, honest to God, the first thing I would do. And if anyone deals with like addictions, I'm sorry I'm about to say this because um, it's a serious topic. But the first thing I would do is I would just like check myself into like a pa like passages. Like I would just go to a nice. Why? I'm t I'll tell you why. Okay. I would I would go to a really nice addiction resort, and it's because like not to like. Not because I got a problem or anything. I want to exploit those people. I just want to get. I would want to get away for like a month or two. Like I would just want to like disappear. Isolation. Like I would just go. So I would, would you like act like an addict? I mean, I wouldn't. I, Jesus. Okay, so maybe not an addiction place, but like I would go to some place that's very seclusive that no one can get to you at. Just go to the North Pole, dude. Maybe. I would want to go to like some nice resort where I could just like leave my phone a, like I would just lock my phone up for like two months and I would just get this like meditation flow going in this peaceful spot that's not influenced by anything and I would just be like okay I've got this opportunity what am I gonna do I would just like think for like two months you don't need to go to passages just drive into Kansas man <laughs> <laughs> just, just out in a field there's <laughs> nobody there I mean but I want to like swim in a pool and stuff like that like I want it to be nice okay <laughs> that's why passages was there <laughs> Jerk. plus it would nice to maybe maybe that would be beneficial because I feel like I got an addiction problem with my phone so I would just get yeah. away from that for a while that's yeah. what I would do immediately that's what I would do I'd be like, guys, some shit. I would be like, Alex will. Some serious shit went down. Everything's going to be great, but I got to go disappear for two months. I'll talk to you later. Okay, so if that happens, we totally know what's going to happen. You might as well yeah. just tell well, us. you know now. <laughs> yeah. Good we thing we talked warning about signs. Yeah. But basically, you just want like isolation. Like. I would want to just be in my head for two months. You just want to be away from And, people. like, figure out what I, I'm going to do. I definitely wouldn't tell people. I don't know if I would go that far into isolation where it's, like, just me. You'd almost have to, like, live your life as normal. 
That would be so hard. That would be you hard. Could, you could. You'd have to like eat frozen veggies and <laughs> still. Ugh. And, like go <laughs> like, to your job. Like you'd want to just be like, I have to go to your job. Yeah, I wouldn't I go, go to my job. Oh, that I wouldn't go to my job. I wouldn't go, I wouldn't I would go that quit. far. I would quit. I would probably just chill in my house. Just be like very, maybe I would go to my job though. Guys, maybe I would go and just know that I didn't have to be there and that I had all this money and I would just go and just like <laughs> around and observe and just be like, hmm, this is a different perspective entirely. And you just like you're there but you're not committed and then finally they're Shoot like the they're like, You're fired, Alex, and you're like Well I'm rich, see you later <laughs> Or you wouldn't even say that, you just whip your d- out and leave. <laughs> Because okay. you wouldn't That's have to. That's what I would do. You would never have to have a job again. Yeah, I'd just be like, here's my butt. <laughs> That's funny. Just, you know, as a favor to them. Not because I was mad. Are we going to wrap this up? What What's our time? An hour and three minutes. So, yeah, we can wrap it up. I have to pee really bad. Let me just say, Let's just wrap it up. speaking of my butt, that's a rear. That's a the end. A rear end, that's the end of the podcast. Bye. <laughs> so, yeah. Money, old fashioned tugs, we sperm, talk- butts. Bartering system. We talked about a lot today. Quitting our jobs. Uh, Lottery. Uh, yeah. Money is a huge influence on life, I think it's safe to say, because there's a lot of like, radical it things. Run- it runs our life. It's giant. It's giant. Um, so this was the thing. this was the goulash's take on money, and I hope all of you goons are having a good day. I hope uh, you guys are helping your fellow humans, and I appreciate you hanging out with us. You guys got anything to say? Not see it. Did mm, donate? I don't know. Donate what? Time, money. I was gonna say money, but give. sperm. Donate your sperm. Thanks for no, hanging out. Don't do that. We or do. We don't need more just, Alex and Blake's running around. I don't want to see. If you do, just Goodbye. make sure you get money. Stop talking. See ya. Love you. Thanks for hanging out.